Good morning, Facebook family. Y'all want to do a video this morning? And this video is for the streets. Uh, this one I want to talk about respect again, but, but on the street, a street aspect. Sometimes we look around and, and now we see the things are a lot different. Anybody that's my age or in their 20s, they see things a lot different on the streets. Uh, before, um, it's like it was a lot of people outside, a lot of people on the corners, a lot of people, kids was outside, playgrounds was packed. Just probably about 10 years ago, you know what I'm saying? It, it was like, that's, what it, that's how it was like. Maybe about 10, 15 years ago, that's how things was like. Now we see the street corners are dead. We see that nobody's outside. We see that uh, uh, I, I even talked to an older dude around the neighborhood. He told me that he don't even want to hang outside because uh, I be out there talking. He be out there talking to his buddies and these young dudes be into stuff. And, and next thing you know, I'm getting shot at because of them. And you know what I'm saying? Then you see no kids at the playground. They're making all these new nice playgrounds. Ain't nobody on them. You see, they're making these new basketball courts. And ain't nobody really on them like that. We used to play with the Raggedy Jones. You know what I'm saying? We will always be on it. But now they got new, fresh ones. Ain't nobody on it. They put money in the parks and nobody on them. So, so what has really happened to the streets? What's the truth of what really happened? The truth is that what really happened in the streets is, is respect. The streets lost respect. And it started with my generation. I'm guilty of it too. What are you talking about? What do you mean respect? Respect for people in their community. Um, for example, uh, uh, there was a time period in the streets where if you saw an older lady walking up or an older man walking up, you would watch your conversation. You wouldn't be cussing in front of them. You wouldn't be talking about the lick you just pulled last night in front of them. You would watch your conversation. You would speak to them and say, how you doing? You know what I'm saying? Do you need help with your groceries? You might even hold the door open for them. Now, that respect has been lost. Even kids, when I was a kid in the street, man, if I did anything hot, the older dudes made me go inside. You know what I'm saying? They was like, hey, you got to go inside for the night because you hot. You know what I'm saying? It was just that type of respect. And, and, and if they ever told me to, I would have went. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I seen them do it multiple times. And then we lost, like, for example, I've seen... I've seen a neighborhood, I done seen a neighborhoods now where a lady, if a dude is standing outside, he'll be standing on the sidewalk and he'll see somebody coming down the sidewalk and instead of moving out the way, he'll just stand there and keep talking about his conversation. You know what I'm saying? So we really have lost respect and because we have lost respect, we have lost our neighborhoods. Gentrification in DC is because respect is lost. That has a lot that you think it just has to do with money, but it also has to do with that respect. We lost respect in the streets. We lost our neighborhoods. We have to bring back respect in our community. Uh, the only way we're going to go forward is we have to bring back respect. I'm talking about, I remember even back in the day, there was times where I've seen dudes um, who were straight up, you know what I'm saying, who were straight up drug dealers. But a nice law-abiding citizen in a neighborhood would vouch for them just because they were respectful to them. They'd be like, no, not him. He couldn't have did nothing like that. He's so nice and kind. They would vouch for him. They would even go as far. They would go to court for him, write a letter for him because they respected him. Now the neighborhood, people in the neighborhood are scared because of non-respect. You walking past and somebody cussing all out, being all ignorant and loud and hot and talking trash. And now your neighborhood, your community is afraid. And now your community is afraid. Now they got loitering signs up all in the community. Now because your community is afraid, you don't have the freedom or the right to stand outside and talk to your friend or, or talk to somebody or reach out to somebody. You don't have that right anymore. They're taking, they, take, they took it away from us. So the point I'm making is that if I don't get anything out of this video is that it's time to bring back respect. We have to bring back respect, especially to the neighborhood. 